Hey guys, what's going on? James here, and in this video today, we're going to be talking about how the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have claimed Ladarius Hamilton from the Dallas Cowboys, who released him very recently after all of the draft picks that they made at the linebacker position. I believe they took Parsons in the first round, and then I believe they took Jabril Cox in the fourth round. They still have Leighton Van Der Esch. They still have Jalen Smith. The Cowboys have a lot of depth at their linebacker position now, and point blank, there was just no room for a Ladarius Hamilton on that team. But the Buccaneers benefit here because they get another player to add to their depth, to add to their potential, you know, big special teams competition here at linebacker. So it's going to be very interesting. Ladarius Hamilton, six foot three, 260 pounds. As I said, played for the Dallas Cowboys in the 2020 season. He was undrafted, uh, did not get any playing time for the Cowboys, but he was still there on the team and then was eventually released. And now he's with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. As you can see over here, he played college football in North Texas, as did uh, Jalen Darden, as did Nate Brooks. So a lot of North Texas talent there. And uh, he's still incredibly, incredibly young, 23 years old. So it's essentially like another undrafted free agent signing for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But the added benefit of getting a guy who is at least know, you know, knows the NFL environment, you know, for a year, which is pretty good starting point, in my opinion, for a guy who's 23 years old coming on to his second team. It's good that he has that experience under his belt as to how to act like an NFL player, the ins and outs of setting up a schedule and being where he needs to be on good times and just, you know, all the logistics with those sort of things. It might not sound like a big deal, but it can be a big deal. And overall, good size, you know, I'm not sure where Ladarius Hamilton is going to be marked at. I believe he is tied for sixth most sacks in North Texas history. I believe 16 or 17. Thank you to the boys over at Pewter Report for that little nugget. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see, you know, is Ladarius Hamilton going to be an edge defender? Is he going to be a middle linebacker and compete with guys like Grant Stewart, who is going to kind of flip between linebacker and safety and KJ Britt, who the Tampa Bay Buccaneers took in the fifth round? And Kevin Minter, I mean, there's a lot of guys there at that middle linebacker position in terms of depth. Ladarius Hamilton can either add to that or he can add to that edge rusher depth where now you've got Joe Tryon, the 32nd overall pick. You've got Anthony Nelson, a former fourth round pick. And then you've got some pretty interesting uh, undrafted guys as well from last year or even two years ago in Quinton Bell, um, in Cam Gill, among a couple of other guys there as well. So going to be very interesting. Ladarius Hamilton with his size again, 6'3", 260. You could play him inside you could play him outside he's got that versatility and I'm going to be very excited and interested to see how he does in rookie mini camp in these upcoming training camps in terms of finding a niche for himself be it as a backup as an edge rusher a backup as a middle linebacker and a special teams player in whatever role he may be another body is added some more healthy competition added and that is always a good Thing. But what do you guys think about the Ladarius Hamilton signing? Let me know down in the comments section below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you all enjoy. Now we'll see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now and go Bucks.